Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to establish a Mislins portal with basically nothing in the very beginning of the game. I'm going to be using an Abyssal Dagger, and a Hammer, and the Antler Pickaxe, and then portal material. You'll need a boat, so we're using a carve. And really, all you need to bring with you is the pickaxe. You need to place a portal down, and then have the mats for one more portal. And we're going to call this Mistlands. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to explore some nearby Mistlands, and I'm going to find a good spot, and then put a portal there, and hopefully we won't die. And the idea here is that you can kind of get access to the Mistlands, early. You can't do much there, but it means that when you want to go there and explore and die, you have a way to get there and then to get your stuff back fairly quickly. And that's going to be kind of important. In the rest of this video, I'll show you how to explore a little bit as well, because you shouldn't just kind of find the first missiles and then put a portal there. For example, if you put a portal on an island, you're gonna get wrecked just because that means you have to swim there every time something happens. You, you don't wanna do that. You wanna find some like main land. But we're also like limited here because as you can tell in the beginning, you can't clear the mist. So you have to sort of just naturally wait for the areas that don't have mist. And we're gonna look along the coasts of the Mistlands and try and find areas that we can actually see. Because what you're gonna find is that there are areas that you can see quite clearly. It looks like that's happening right now, actually. Yeah, there you go, look at that. We need to make sure that this isn't just some tiny little set of islands because we wanna put a portal down in a place that's kind of, yeah, big. So, Let's keep exploring down the coast here a little bit. Oh, look at that wave. I love it when the boat rides along a wave like that. Yeah, so see, we could put some stuff here, but as you can see, that area is just sort of an island. So we would have to leave it and we'd probably die in the water or get blown up or something, or we'd have to use the boat. So. That's not so ideal. Let's keep looking and try and find a place that looks better that's connected to a bigger landmass. You can see there's like mountains off in the distance and that, that's how you know it's a bigger landmass. These little tiny islands don't really ever have mountains on them. So it looks like there's like a mainland kind of this way. I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully, go into that cove over there find a spot, and survive. Now, it looks like we can run. We don't want to lollygog around too much, so we're gonna try and get to the base of that structure over there. Let's go. What we're looking for is some terrain close to a spire so we can dig under it, but this terrain looks like it's too close to the water so we actually have a little hiccup in our in our strategy here. Looks like that's a rock I can dig under though. Now let's make sure nothing's seen me yet. So we're gonna go here. And I'm gonna go for this kind of spot right here. What you're trying to do is make a very, very narrow tunnel. And hope that in the very beginning, because you're being loud as crap mining, that you don't aggro anything. And we have it. Here we go. We can now place our portal. I need to place the workbench again though. Classic. Just kinda click around, hope for the best. Doesn't really matter where the workbench goes. All that matters is that the portal is in a safe spot. And I know there's one here somewhere. There we go, boom. Mist lens. There we go. So now we can test out our portal. Let's like see if we can run through here and 
we just run in, go over here, and then up into the portal. You really want it to be kind of jagged there so that the monsters have a hard time, especially the ticks that the Zhao fire out. They're really good at running up into tunnels. And that's it. It's actually quite simple to make the entry portal. You just bury it, make a tunnel, and really, you want to make like a right angle with the tunnel so that you don't see the sky. The one I just made in the videos, it's okay, but you could do a lot better. Alright everybody, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support me and my content, then please consider renting your own dedicated server using my affiliate link for your Valheim experience. It's between $15 and $20 per month, and that can be split between your friends. So if you're playing with two or three other people, you're only talking 4 or 5 bucks a month to have some great Valheiming. So I hope you enjoy it. If you want to learn more about that, check out my video all about setting up your own dedicated server. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.